Hi, today I'm going to go over how you can quickly delete all blank columns in a workbook. So there's plenty of easy ways to delete all blank rows, but deleting the blank columns is a bit tedious. I could spend my time selecting all of them and then delete, but let's just pretend that this data goes all the way out to the end of the year. That's going to be, you know, selecting 365 rows and that's going to get very tedious very quickly. So a quick way to do that is to select a row that contains data um, where there is data, but then the blanks where there's blanks. So like don't select this row because it's just entire entirely blanks, but select one of these rows where there is <clears throat> um, a heading and then the data. Now I like to select the top row because theoretically one of these sub rows could have, you know, a zero here and, and maybe someone put in a zero and it won't be blank, but maybe someone just left it blank and, and then I'm going to delete something that I shouldn't. So I like to pick this first row on the home tab. I will go to find and select in this editing bar. And then there is this go to and this go to special. They'll take you to the same place. So we'll just go to the go to. And then down here is the special. Take you here. So conversely, find and select, go to special, same place. We're going to want to select the blanks. And now you can see that Excel has automatically picked up everything that I want to delete. I will press control in the minus sign. That'll give me this delete shortcut. I will press C for entire column, enter. And now you can see that I've got only contiguous data. And now there's a bunch of ways um, to get rid of these blank rows. One thing I can do is just data, filter, sort it. <clears throat> so to make that actually work, we'll need to select the entire box here, filter it, then sort it. Now we've got everything lined up but honestly as you can tell i don't do it that way i have because i have to select that whole box of data and if there's a lot of products that's going to be pretty annoying because i i can't like i just keep having to press down the control shift down arrow to get there so what i typically do is i just select column a and i do the same thing back on the home tab find and select go to special blanks blanks and then again i'll press Control minus and i will say r for entire row enter and now i've got a nicely shaped data set hope that helps that's a great use of the go to option in excel